Hey man, we got a little bit of sugar, a little bit of spice, and everything nice. All right, y'all, what is good, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, Moody. You are watching Moody TV, and today, you already know from the title and the thumbnail, look. We taking a look at these Powerpuff Girl Nike SB Dunk Lows, and I'm very excited for this video because they came out of nowhere. You know, we saw pictures, we saw speculations of when they dropped, and then they dropped, and your boy hit on two out of the three pairs. So, we gonna take a look into each of the pairs that I personally got in order of how I got them. Yeah. We're gonna talk about them, wrap this video up, and then let y'all go about y'all day. So, first things first, the first pair that I ended up getting was BAM, the Buttercup pair. So, this is the all green pair. You get black laces on the tongue. It has like Powerpuff Girls like embroidered inside of it. If you can kind of see it, it has like the Powerpuff Girls emblem there. On the actual tag itself on the front, it has Buttercup's name stitched into it. So I think that's pretty cool. The material on here is kind of weird. It's kind of like a, I don't, I don't really know. It's kind of like a, a laminate. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but if you can kind of hear how that material sounds, uh, that's kind of what like the material is mainly made out of. On the back, on all the pairs, you do have the color eyes for the specific Gower Puff Grill. So since this is Buttercup, it's gonna be white with the green. So, you know, those are pretty nice there. On the outsole, it's kind of like a translucent outsole. It almost looks like it glows in the dark, but I'm not entirely for sure if it does glow in the dark. But black mint, so nah. This all around, just a very, very interesting shoe. I wouldn't necessarily say this would be my favorite, but I do love the color green. And I feel like if you could pull this off with something, honestly, it's not too bad of a cop. Let me see if I can take this insole out. Oh, the insole look like it's giving me a hard time, so I ain't gonna take it out. But you kind of have like some of the like action scenes that you'll have in like the movies when they're fighting all on the inside lining of the shoe. So on the insoles, it'll have like kind of like that. And then it has the Powerpuff Girls emblem on there. Don't really know if you can see that really, but it's on the inside. That's a nice detail as well. With this pair along with the black laces, you also get these green laces. So not too bad if I do say so myself. Y'all let me know. Out of the three, which one does this rank? Out of the three, is this gonna be your number one pick, your number two pick, or your number three pick? So y'all let me know in the comment section. But yeah, it's the Buttercup here. Let's talk about the box real quick before we move on. I probably should have started with it, but hey, you know, we do whatever we want over here. So Nike SB box is just this regular cream and gray lettering on the box. This is what the size tag reads for the Buttercup pair. That's what the tag says when you open it up. The paper has all three of the Powerpuff Girls on there. So you have Blossom on the bottom. When you come around, you get Buttercup on on the box, and when you open it up again, you get bubbles. So pretty cool if I do say so myself. Let me know who your favorite character is from the show, regardless of like the shoe and the design. Let me know what your favorite character is from the show. But yeah, that's the boxes and all of the boxes look the same, all have the same papering on the inside. So yeah, that's pretty much it for that. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bubbles pair. And then we have probably my favorite out of the three. I don't know, it's kind of a tie between this one and the blossom pair, but we have the bubbles pair. This is the all blue pair, yellow laces, same thing on the tongue. So you have Nike SB and then it says bubbles there. You would think it would come with blue laces as an alternative, but they actually come with black laces here. Pretty interesting. So maybe if you have blue laces with another SB that you have at home, maybe you could swap that out. But I feel like it's way better that they did the yellow laces with these. It really makes the shoe pop because the swoosh is also yellow. The materials here are different on the bubbles pair. So it's not really, so it doesn't make that same sound. I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can hear that or not, but um, it's kind of like a, um, if you ever seen the I'm on my ear Jordan 1s, it's kind of like cracked leather, but like actually like constructed into like a snake skin. I don't know if you can see that, but like it also has like reflective material and it kind of looks like stars on camera when you see it. But on the outside, it's also translucent. You have that Nike SB logo right there. Everything else is all blue. Insoles is still gonna be the same when you have all of the action when it's actually in the TV show. It has it in the insole as well. Pretty consistent when it comes to the minor details like the insoles and the box, but the shoes themselves are very different. The eye here on the back is 
going to be the white and blue because that's how her eyes are in the show. I'd probably say this is going to be either my number one pick. I haven't seen the Blossom pair in person. Maybe my opinion changes if I do see them in person. Y'all let me know if y'all have seen them in person and what you think is going to be the top three in order. One, two, three. And y'all let me know in the comment section. But before I get up out of here, there's one thing that I wanted to cover on this shoe that I haven't seen anybody talk about. And it's this line in here. So if you see the lining, it looks black, but it's actually a reflective material. So I don't know if my flash is gonna expose it on camera. Yeah, no. So on this camera, it's not gonna expose it, but I'm gonna to switch to a B-roll of me using my flash with this and this all becomes like a rainbow material so like the more that you move it in a different angle that the light hits it it looks like like a rainbow throughout the whole thing so that's something that i haven't seen anybody talk about nice little detail makes the shoe that much even better than the pictures that you see online these sbs they look nice on on camera but like when you see them in person it's like okay yeah these are really hard like they make them like that much better when you see him in person. So it's one of those type of shoes. But outside of that, that is Bubbles and the Buttercup pair. So y'all get in the comment section, y'all let me know between these two, which one, which one is the better pickup. And then out of the three, rank them one, two, and three. Let me know which one's your favorite, the middle favorite, and then the least favorite. You know, they're all nice shoes in my opinion, but we all got different opinions. So y'all let me know. And then yeah, y'all get in the comment section. Don't forget to make sure you leave a, a like on the video and make sure that you subscribe to the channel because I might just have to grab at that last pair and then do it all and do a, a another video comparing all three of them. It may not be a long video like this, but you know, like a little short or something like that. Outside of that, this is your boy Moody checking in, checking out, and then I'm gonna see y'all in the next video, y'all. Y'all have a nice holiday. Enjoy y'all time off from work and with your families, and I'm gonna do the same, all right? So I'm gonna get up out of here, see y'all in the next video. I'm gone, peace.